Welcome to our hands-on demo of a video calling using the free PBX and Grandstream and Yealink video phones. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our YouTube video here and thanks for checking out our channel Accent Voice. This is Chris with Accent and today we are going to be taking you through hands-on setup of a free PBX with a Grandstream and a Yealink video phone and we're going to make a video call between these two devices using the free PBX. Before we get started, I just want to say again, thanks so much for checking this video out. If you like this video, give us a like. If you're interested in more videos like this, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash accentvoice. Hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified for future videos, and you'll be able to check out all of our past videos regarding hands-on demos, VoIP uh, phone reviews, VoIP discussions, just general telecommunications and unified communications uh, information and topics. So we're going to get started here momentarily, but just a little bit of a primer uh, and a disclaimer. This video is going to assume you know the basics of how to register a SIP phone to a free PBX, set up a free PBX, you know, build extensions, etc. What we're really going to be talking about with this is the uh, specific settings required to enable video inside your free PBX and inside your phones as well. Now, all phones are a little different, and depending on the build of free PBX you're using as well, the interface might look a tad bit different, but the high points are still the same. The main points are will get you from A to B, and you should be able to get it going on any build of free PBX, probably 12 or 13 and up. We're gonna be using 14.0.13.6 today. And we've got a Grandstream GXV3380 and a Yealink T58. They're both Android-based video phones. There are a lot of video phones on the market today, phones that support uh, video communication. Uh, primarily, we're going to be using the H264 video codec, which FreePBX supports. Both of these phones support. It's a standard protocol for video calling, and odds are um, your phone, if you've got a video-enabled phone, will probably support H264. With that being said, we're going to head to the computer here, look at a free PBX first, and then take a look at the Grandstream and Yealink phones. So let's get going here. You can see we're already logged into the free PBX. And, uh, you know, again, as I mentioned, we've already got our extensions built. We've already got a full working free PBX system here. And uh, so the first place we're going to go is just into our settings and our asterisk SIP settings. And in the general SIP settings tab, if we scroll down, we first see our audio codex. Below that is the codex for video support. Now I've already enabled it here. Uh, by default, it's disabled. So you're going to want to click enable and then you're going to want to enable at minimum the H.264 codec. I say at minimum because that's what we're using today. You can see on the screen here that there are a lot of other codecs FreePBX supports, MPEG-4, VP9, VP8, etc., etc. We're using H.264 because we found that as far as the phones we work with, that's the codec that's most widely supported. We do a lot of Grandstream work. Grandstream supports H.264 pretty much primarily e link supports um, H.264 as well, and I don't know if there are any others. Uh, but your phones might support a different codec. You just want to make sure that that codec is listed in this list here. If it's not, you're you know, going to have to look for a different video phone because your phone system has to support the codec that your phones support. That's the real you know, um, hook that ties everything together here. Uh, we're not going to uh, mess with the max bit rate, however you could. Um, this is the bitrate for the video calls. You're going to want to make sure that you're not overstressing your system and your network. So, you know, if you run this bitrate up really high and you've got a free PBX with limited processing power, or you've got network constraints and you have a lot of video calls going on at once, you could run the risk of um, bogging down the network, bogging down the CPU on the free PBX, etc. So make sure that your bitrate is appropriate for your environment. It's going to be a little difficult for us to recommend a bitrate at this point. Also make sure that you match that bitrate with the settings in your phone as well. Um, so, you know, in, in this sense, we're not going to change this. It, it will adjust. The system will adjust 
you could take this up. You're going to see on our phones that we're probably going to have a higher bit rate on our phones, but we would recommend in general in a production environment, just have the bit rates all the same. Okay, so from here, we're done on the free PBX side. It's pretty simple to just enable video on free PBX. Remember, we already assume you've got your extensions built and we already assume you've got your free PBX working and you can make and take audio calls at this point. So we're going to take uh, our free PBX settings and now we're going to jump over to our two phones. We've already got these phones up. I'm logged into them already here in the web interface on the, on the uh, PC. And uh, you can see I jump right into uh, the SIP settings. This is the GXV3380. And um, you know, the general settings for this account are right here. And you can see I'm already registered even. Uh, the key tab in this scenario is your codec settings. Again, much similar to the free PBX, you just want to make sure that your codec settings match in your, your, your supporting H.264, which you can see right here, we already have it enabled. Now, depending on the phone you have, you may have more um, options you can tweak, settings you can change. For instance, you can adjust the image size on, this, on the phone. You can also on this phone adjust the video bit rate, uh, frames per second, etc. All of these elements are going to, Im are going to uh, be important in your network environment, in your computing environment, etc. So if you want to enable video, but you're not really worried about sending like high def, high frame rate video, you're going to want to set these settings a bit lower. You know, things like frames per second, video bit rate, image size. Those are all important settings that are going to um, you know, require more bandwidth, and they're going to take up network resources. So just be mindful of that. And also be mindful of it whether or not you're going over a cloud environment too. If you're working with a maybe a cloud-based free PBX, free PBX that's not local on your LAN, this is going to be a little more important because you're going to be not only traversing your local network, but you're going to be outside traversing the WAN. And then, you know, what is your hosting environment set up for? What's your WAN connection look like, etc.? All these things are important. And more phones are going to, or some phones are going to provide more uh, flexibility in settings than others. So just be mindful of that as well. The key here is the H.264 codex enabled. We've enabled video support everywhere. We're good to go on the GXV3380. We've jumped over to the Yaling T58 phone now. You can see this account's already registered with 3704. We've already set this account up ahead of time. And we're actually in the codec settings for the specific account. You can see our audio codecs are enabled. Right below that, here we are with video codecs. We've got H.264 enabled. We're going to make sure that's the only one. Just confirm that. So we're working solidly with H.264 here. Now under the settings tab, you've got video right here. This is going to be uh, a good example of the limitations in setting video settings on one phone versus another. So here we're going to say yes, video is active, and we're going to ask for video first. And then you can set the video call rate. We're going to auto it. We're going to auto negotiate the video call rate. And then that way the phone will, you know, see what the uh, other phone is sending or what the system supports and then auto negotiate to that. Uh, but you can see a drastic difference in the 3380 versus the T58 in what video settings you can manipulate. Um, the Grandstream offers a lot more than the Yaling phone, so just be aware of that. All right, we've confirmed that, and now at this point, we are should be all set up and ready to go to actually go over to our phones and make that video call. So from here, we're going to jump up, go over, make a video call, and you know, we should be okay, and then wrap it up from there. All right, so here we have our two phones that we just configured on our free PBX, extension 3704 is the Yaling T58, and extension 3533 is the Grandstream GXV3380. All right, so 3704 is gonna call 3533. Remember, we're sending video automatically, so all we have to do is just answer, and we'll initiate video automatically. And there you have it. So we've got, you can see my reflection here in the uh, camera. So we've got video on both devices. We've got a video call going.
We'll just hang this call up now. And voila, that's how you set up and support video on your free PBX system across either your local or wide area network. All right, so that was it. We saw the free PBX enabled for video with the H264 codec. Both the Grandstream and the Yealink phone confirmed that they, they were supporting H.264 in the video settings as well. Then we walked over to our phones and we made a call, saw the video on both, connected, and then ended the call. So pretty straightforward. Again, make sure you're setting up the specific details for your environment. Uh, again, this video assumes that you've got a little bit of an understanding of obviously how to set up a free PBX and how to register SIP devices. If you need some assistance in some of that, We've got a lot of great videos on how to set up and register phones to uh, phone systems, including SIP servers, our own cloud phone system, the Voice One Cloud as well. Today we were using a free PBX, and if you need some free PBX assistance, there are a lot of great resources in the free PBX community out there that can uh, help you set up either professional or just kind of forums and um, you know what I'll call free support. Uh, the free PBX community is uh, really strong and vibrant one especially you know, out on the internet today. With that, again, thanks so much for checking this video out. If you'd like, uh, drop a comment below if you've got a question. We do respond to comments. We do answer questions. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, you can hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified when we publish new videos. And um, you know, generally that's uh, a couple of months regarding uh, VoIP products, uh, telecommunications uh, topics, unified communications. You know, how-to videos like this, phone reviews, all different types of uh, interesting topics around the VoIP community. This is Chris. I'm with Accent. If you want to learn more with, about Accent, you can uh, check out AccentVoice.com. And you can learn more about the Voice One Cloud Phone System, where we offer a business cloud phone system and business cloud phone service, unified communications, mobile apps, team collaboration, and a lot of other great features and services. You've been checking out uh, the Accent Voice YouTube channel. And we want to thank you so much. We'll see you next time.